Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Omkara Tarot. Let's do a love check-in for the end of August. Uh, Sagittarius, these are general collective readings will not resonate with each and every one of you. So take what works for you and leave the rest like you should leave this player who just wanted to show face before we even started the reading. Let's keep this aside and see if you, you know, uh, it's going to resonate with our reading. So, Sagittarius, let's begin here. Dear God, Goddesses, Angels, Spirit Guides, please bless this reading for Sagittarius and send them the messages they need to hear the most at this time. Thank you. So, Sagittarius, uh, this is going to be a love read for the end of um, August. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. We welcome you to our little Omkara family. We meet here weekly for all kinds of readings, especially love readings. And uh, yes, do subscribe to the channel and join us. And a big warm uh, welcome back to all my existing subscribers. Thank you for all your love. I love your comments. I try and, uh, you know, reply each and every one of them. But... Uh, What's happening, Sagittarius? What's happening here? Who are you dealing with? Something or someone. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so the newcomers, let me explain this. I have two sets sides here. So this is uh, person A, person B. You decide which side you resonate best with, okay? So for person A, and in the center, I have your mutual energies. So for person A, I have the Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Wands in reverse. Knight of Cups, King of Swords, King of Wands, and the Fool. Person B, Sagittarius, Ten of Swords, the Lovers, Five of Swords, Nine of Cups, the Devil, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay. So, Sagittarius, I see on side one, there is this wheel of fortune and somebody is now wanting to do the right thing. Now that right thing, Sagittarius, could be for you or for them, right? So they are wanting now to bring balance into this equation and kind of looking ahead to see, planning their future, it seems, okay? I don't know if this is your person or this is you, but uh, this person is planning something just for, I think, themselves, Okay, they are letting go. They're no longer fighting for the connection. It seems they are uh, now letting go of. Uh, they're letting go of something. Yeah, they are keep keeping themselves strong. So they're, they're trying to manifest something new for themselves. Or this could be you, Sagittarius, where you are trying now to move, you know, your life ahead and uh, bring balance and see what else is out there now in f the future. Uh, not uh, you don't want to stay guarded and all your life and you know they were trying to manifest something new now, but this I think is the masculine energy here Sagittarius I don't know if you're the Sagittarius masculine or feminine watching this but on my spread I have I think here a ma masculine uh, energy they're no longer feeling the yeah they're no longer feeling that uh, f maybe they don't want to have light hearted relationships anymore Okay, they're tired of being, you know, their flirty ways of, you know, being in and out. Um, now I think this person is ready for some real love in their life. Okay, they're trying to make some decision to drop all this flirty behavior and never being consistent and, um, you know, having relationships that maybe don't last. And I think in the past, it's, yeah, they, they're trying to make a decision regarding this. They're trying to make a decision regarding this. And uh, they are now trying to be very analytical. And um, they want to become like the King of Swords who has everything balanced in their life. Right? This, this, I think, this scenario which this person was in of being in and out and always being a player and being romantic with so-and-so, so-and-so, they want to drop all that. And they're trying to manifest something very balanced and good for themselves. Maybe till now, they've, you know, this person has been in the King of Wands energy. Now, the King of Wands is, uh, you know, especially in reverse, is a very selfish, self-centered character. They, uh, yes, they are passionate, yes. They go out to 
achieve yes but it's mostly for themselves okay it's all about the me 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 and uh, they've realized that this kind of uh, you know behavior has left them a bit stuck now okay they haven't really reached anywhere in their life now they want to stop this juggling enough is enough i've you know juggled and maybe played a lot of people in my life and i'm ready to now drop the ball and make some kind of decision because i also want wish fulfillment with my one happy person okay they're trying to make a decision regarding this and they want to take a leap of faith and move their life in a absolutely brand new way with somebody who's nurturing loving caring you know somebody who can be their long term partner this you know that special person but this is giving them a little lot of sleepless nights why because they've been such a player in the past i don't think anybody even believes them when they come across to somebody because uh, of their past behavior even though they are very keen now to have uh, something new in their life something which is balanced which is um, you know with one special person but i don't think anybody is uh, believing this person anymore yeah this person wants to now come across as the emperor and have control of their life enough of this juggling and being in the night of wands energy player energy uh, inconsistent basically and never planning for the future never planning for the future right this is what this person have, has always tried to portray in the past that hey i i i don't believe in this i don't believe in that and you know uh, whatever emotionally very closed off human being but i think they've done a lot of contemplation work they've done a lot of thinking lot of uh, you know uh, thinking about their future and now they're thinking oh my god how am I, how am i going to you know get control of my life how will i become the emperor if i stay in this uh, knight of wands king of wands energy i also want a fresh new beginning i also want to i in my future i do want someone to hold my hand to see that you know a uh, beautiful future with where i can relax and have a have stability in my life so let's see what person b has person b has the 10 of swords okay now they i think are the person who's felt betrayed and you know by person a in the past they feel everything is over they feel totally everything is over they wanted this uh, very stable place maybe with person a in the past but they feel uh, they felt betrayed okay they felt that this person just came maybe played them put so many so many tense words in their back and uh, yeah and left and uh, person b feels yes they did not offer me what i wanted so i think it's time for me to make a choice even though there may have been attraction between the two of you there may have been <clears throat> a lot of sexual desires between the two of you and the king of knights and the king of wands is very good with that right they're always charging in with their wand and um, but never offered any commitment so uh, person b is uh, feeling a little uh, unhappy yes because uh, this person always used to sneak away this person was always mind manipulating <coughs> sorry so sorry this person was always kind of you know uh, cheating them stealing them mind manipulations going on i have two cards of the fire you know five and uh, the seven of swords which almost represent that thief card who uh, you know is always doing things which benefit them okay it's all about the me 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 and you are no good and i don't need you and i'm going to run away whenever i want to and this has made person b feel very unhappy with these interactions with person a even though there was this love there was this attraction the sexual attraction and maybe a bit of love as well but this person never person a never kind of gave them what they wanted always you know they kept bringing stoppages to this relationship they would come in have fun leave come in have you know have fun leave and made person every time they would leave bring stagnation to the relationship they would leave person a feeling stressed out you know it never made person a b sorry b never ha- made person be happy they've never had emotional happiness because of this this kind of behavior from them this kind of sticky lying behavior which they brought on <clears throat> and they brought in love they brought in passion and then they quickly brought in the mind manipulation and leaving them out in the cold kind of relationship 
person B is now realizing that this is probably a very, very toxic relationship. And uh, there's a lot of, you know, yeah, it's becoming a bit burdening to them. As much as it makes person B happy to be with the person A when in the present moment, it also gives them a lot of burden. And because why? Because this is a, probably a karmic soulmate. Okay, this is a person who they are bound and chained to for a very, you know, maybe for a lesson or something. And they feel they, even though they know that this person brings in toxicity and gives me burden and hurts me, but when this person comes back, leaves person be feeling very happy too. So this is a, you know, a very unnatural or unhealthy attachment that person B has to person A. And person A probably knows it and uh, uses it to their advantage, I would say. So what's the six of uh, pentacle spirit? Yes, person A is uh, wanting equal give and take. They want balance in their life. There is a soulmate kind of a bond which they feel with person A that is love from person B side to person A side. Okay. Now person B has a lot of love for person A. Person A is also realizing now that they have played enough and they are also looking for stability and they are now wanting to change their life and bring in something stable. Is it now separately for person A and person B? We have to see uh, Sagittarius in your mutual energy. The star, four of pentacles and the ace of swords. So Sagittarius, the star card is here, which is of wish fulfillment, happiness, you know, all your dreams coming true, basically wishing upon a star. But unfortunately, right now, it's in the reverse. So, yes. Why is the star in reverse spirit right now? Why is the star in reverse? I think the feminine energy here, Sagittarius, is still a bit upset here. Okay, They are trying to use it their in own intuition and trying to move ahead in their own life. Yeah, they have sat and, you know, thought about it, evaluated what is the investment person A has put till now, what has this person put in this relationship and person A is, I think, wishing upon a star, trying to dig deep into their own inner knowing but right now I don't see them relenting and giving person A a chance. They are, um, I think, wanting to move ahead in their own life at the present moment. Uh, I think at this point both of you are releasing the need to kind of tie anyone down. So what's this four of uh, cup coins in reverse spirit? Yeah, both are realizing there's no growth to be had here. There's no growth to be had here. And uh, there's going to be some communication regarding this. That is it better that, you know, if you're not going to commit to me, if you're not going to, you know, if you're going to keep secrets from me all the time, uh, is it better that, uh, you know, we kind of let each other go? Empress or the Queen here, the feminine energy, even though feels a lot of love, I think is going to start holding back her love. She's using her intuition to see, is it even worth investing in? From what has happened in the past, uh, I don't think uh, it's going to work in the long term. What's this Ace of uh, Sword Spirit, which is in the upright and reverse? Yes, right now the communication between the two of you uh, is not at its best. Okay, Sagittarius, even though you both want to have some clear communication, communication is not clear because one or both of you right now are in hermit mode, you're both thinking about it. Is it even worth it? Is it worth working on this relationship anymore? Okay, uh, so right now I think you both are blocking off communication from each other and uh, re-evaluating you know, whether going forward is even worth it. Because I think this masculine has really messed it up in the past. Even though now they may be probably realizing that yes, they have and maybe they want something. Uh, yeah, some decisions are getting made for sure. There's some decisions getting made for sure. But right now I don't see a passionate reunion or anything like that. 
this yes this was probably you know uh, one person was giving to many uh, bread crumbing person b and all this you know <laughs> it's all being uh, a thesis is being written on this and people are thinking yeah right now uh, sagittarius uh, there's um, no forward movement if you guys are at a distance there is distance and there is no um, travel towards one another right now at the end of august there's a lot of contemplation going on so this masculine kind of messed it up with their player ways and person b has be felt very humiliated so right now even though the masculine is realizing and now stressing about it because they realize how long can i play and the feminine is saying okay it doesn't matter maybe it's time for me to play now <laughs> and i don't need you in my life so let's see what the angels have for you yeah bottom of my deck sagittarius i also have the four of cups which is uh, not accepting you know happily any love offer made at this time and uh, time to think put your life back into a gear after some evaluation the evaluation so spirit what do we have for sagittarius as a blessing from you Yes, Sagittarius. If you've been giving too much to this person, uh, this person has been a, almost a, an energy vampire to you, right? Comes and takes your energy and goes trotting off to maybe the other conquests. You have maybe mothered mothered them, given them too much of yourself, and got nothing back in return. I mean, you've almost like given, given, given of yourself, the feminine energy, and this masculine has come, taken, and gone off, and given that energy to maybe others. So it's right now time for you to take your power back and start nurturing yourself. The minute you do that, you will come to a peaceful place, uh, Sagittarius. You have to be, yeah, you have to be brave to pull yourself out. This is a toxic relationship, but it's also the devil which you. It's very difficult to unhook yourself from. So be brave in the face of this and come to your peaceful space. Okay, uh, Spirit says once you make up your mind. um this they going to help you with this transition they'll definitely help you and once you manage to leave this toxicity behind sagittarius you watch your miracles okay things will totally change once you close this last chapter of your life or well, let's see maybe this uh, masculine could you know change and that's going to be your miracle once you pull back your energy this masculine may realize your worth that oh oh i made a mistake and come back correct this time maybe come back to give you this equal give and take which they should have given from day one okay so right now i don't see any forward movement uh, sagittarius which is for the better you don't want to hang around with this player for too long if they stay in this energy let them let them reach their emperor okay let them reach being the emperor and take back control of their life and come to you with a solid offer then you decide what you want to do that's all i have for you Sagittarius take care love and light and i'll see you for your september read now next week love and light my namaste to all of you